This is someone's night to cross over. Glory to God. Father God, speak to your people tonight. Minister to us as we go into your word tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can somebody say amen? Let's go on our first point tonight. You already know what we're talking about tonight. We're talking about the Lord will fight for you. Praying about what God wanted me to go into on tonight. I just felt the Lord wanted me to go back into Exodus chapter 14. Amen. Because you got to realize that God have a plan. God's got a plan. Amen. I say God's got a plan. Exodus chapter 14 verse 13 through 16. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Praise God. That's the word for you tonight. The Lord will fight for you. Come on, shout it out. Say the Lord will, the Lord will, the Lord will. The Lord will fight for you. God will fight for you. Because I can feel that tonight. Some of you are dealing with, with difficult circumstances and situations. Some of your backs was against the wall. That's the same situation that the children of Israel had found themselves in here in the book of Exodus chapter 14. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you. He will show you. He will show it to you today. Someone's answer is coming today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them no more forever. And the word I believe God want me to say to you, fear not, glory to God. There's a lot of fear. We have these demonic people on the attack. Just devilish people on the rise trying to reap havoc. And I, there's a lot of fear, amen. There's an outbreak of the Ebola virus. But I believe the word of God to his people tonight is fear ye not. Stand still and see. Stand still and see the salvation of God, which he will show you. My God, the Bible says, arise and shine for your light has come. For the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. The glory of God. Moses said, the Lord will show you. The Lord will show you. He is going to show it to you. I'm preaching to someone tonight. The Lord will show you. Some of you seeking direction. Some of you don't know which way to turn. Some of you don't know how to take the next step. But the Holy Ghost want me to tell you tonight, the Lord will show you. The Lord will show you. Today, for the Egyptians, those demons that's been on the attack, who you seen today, you'll see them no more forever. Listen to what Moses said in the book of Exodus chapter 14 verse 14. He says, for the Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. My God, some of you been crying out this week. Some of you been at a standstill. But the word of God is, it's time to go forward. Why don't you shout it? Say, I'm about to go forward. I'm about to take another step. It's a step of faith. I don't understand, but I'm going to take the step of faith. The Bible says, Abraham, he went out not knowing where he was going. Sometimes you just got to take a step of faith. You don't know how it's going to turn out, but you do know that God is going to make it work together for your good because you love God. Praise God. And the Lord said, why are you crying out to me, Moses? He said, lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go over on dry ground through the midst of the sea. That's the plan. What the Holy Ghost want you to know tonight is God is going to make a way out of nowhere. God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I said, 
God is about to make a way out of no way. That Red Sea that you're faced with, that Red Sea that you're standing in the front of, Pharaoh and his forces, they are saying the Red Sea got your trap and the wilderness got you shut in. That's what the demons have been celebrating over your demise. They've been saying they don't have nowhere to go. They don't have nowhere to turn. But David said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help, it comes from the Lord, which made the heavens and the earth. He'll not suffer your foot to be moved. He that keep it Israel, he that keep it you, he doesn't slumber nor sleep. For the Bible says, the Bible says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Are you willing to trust him tonight? Are you willing to put your trust in him? Are you willing to put your trust in him? For the Bible says, trust in the Lord with all of your hearts. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your steps. God is going to direct you. I don't care what the devil say. I don't care what it seems like. He is about to make a way out of no way. I say God is about to perform a miracle. God is about to give you a supernatural turnaround. This is your night for a miracle. This is your night for a breakthrough. This is your night to receive a healing. This is your night that God is going to step in and turn your finances around. I said, this is your night. The Egyptians that you see, you're going to see them no more forever. Somebody help me give him praise. Yay! Yay! Yes! Been disappointed. Been let down. Been abused. Been misused. Been stepped on. But it's my time for a miracle. It's my time for a breakthrough. It's my time for, to see God work on my behalf. Somebody help me praise him tonight. Roko Satarababa. Sakanarabosa. That's why the attack has been intensifying lately. It's been intensifying because the devil knows his time is up. His season is up. This is God's season. This is our time. The Bible says there is a time and a season to every purpose under heaven. There is a time to lose and there is a time to gain. My God, that season of losing is over. That season of losing have come to a close. You've now entered in to a season of breakthrough. A season where you are going to win battle after battle. Where you are going to have a domino effect of breakthroughs. Can someone shout it? This is my season of victory. This is my winning season. And no weapon that's formed against me shall be able to prosper. And every tongue that's risen against me. My God in judgment. We condemn it now. David said to Goliath, you come to me with a sling will you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts the name of the God of Israel whom we serve the God we serve is alive forever and like David said to Goliath the Lord I serve is going to deliver you into my hands today I got news for the devil that's risen against you I've got news for every force of hell that's come against you today. God is going to give us the victory over every force that's come against us to hinder our progress in God to make us feel like we've just been on a treadmill spinning our wheels and going nowhere. I break that demonic cycle. I break it right now. I 
take authority over it in your life in the name of Jesus I declare over your life that before 2014 come to a close you're going to see the hand of God you're going to see God work miracles that you never seen him work before you're going to see God begin to turn it around in your life beginning tonight in the mighty name of Jesus I drive back the power of witchcraft I drive back every devil, every demon, every force of hell that's come against you to make you doubt God, to make you question God, to make you wave the white fly. I curse those devils tonight. I drive them out. I chase them from out of your atmosphere. I chased him from out of your environment because the Bible says suck it up the Bible says resist the devil and he shall flee from you the Bible says upon this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail say Satan you can't prevail my God, we sing a song down in the Bahamas. We said, Satan, you can't prevail. You can't prevail. My God, I don't know about you, but I'm standing on the solid rock. The solid rock. His name is Jesus. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of God will stand forevermore. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God and the word was God and the word was made flesh and dwell among us and we beheld his glory as the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth this is a night of victory for the Bible says greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world the Bible says in first John chapter 5 verse 4 you are of God little children and have overcome them because greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. I dare you to open your mouth and say greater. I dare you to shout it out greater. I dare you to shout. I've got more power than the devil. The devil tried, but he failed. Satan, you can't prevail. We are covered in the blood. We've been bought with the precious blood of the Lord Jesus. Jesus Christ, my God, you can't prevail against us. You can't prevail. Somebody shout greater. Can somebody shout, this is my time? Somebody shout, this is my season. This is my coming out season. This is my victory season. This is my breakthrough season. This is my season where my family members who have not yet accepted Jesus, they're about to be saved because the Lord said the Bible says the Bible says if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ you shall be saved and your household this is a season where your marriage is gonna take a turn for the better my God somebody shout yes somebody shout yes for the Bible says the promises of God in him I yes and amen so the children of Israel they got nervous because their backs was against the wall. They stood by the Red Sea. My God, it didn't look like they had no way out. And Pharaoh army was marching behind them. Pharaoh horses and chariots were marching with swords and spears coming to wipe out the people of God and they got nervous and they said Moses did you bring us out here to kill us but listen here friend that's what the devil wants you to say the devil wants you to open your mouth and speak against the man of God and speak against the servant of God and speak against the promise of God and speak against the plan of God and Moses began to cry out to God and God said Moses why are you crying out to me what is that in your hand my God you've already got the solution in your hand my God you got the 
the solution in your mouth. The Bible says at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. Job chapter 22 verse 28 says, For thou shalt the queer thing and it shall be established unto you. My God, join your faith with me. Let's establish this season. Let's open our mouth right now and declare it. This is my winning season. This is my winning season. This is my coming out season. This is my crossing over season. This is my miracle season. This is my financial breakthrough season. For the word of God declares life and death are in the power of the tongue and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Jesus said it like this. For whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the midst of the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saved shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he saved. I dare you to open your mouth and declare it which you believe in God to do in your life. My God, I dare you to open your mouth and declare it. For Jesus said, you shall have whatever you say you shall have I feel the Holy Ghost tonight Jesus said you shall have you shall have I speak to every mountain in your life I speak to every mountain in my life I command the mountain to be removed I command you to go into the sea I command you to be cast into the lake of forgetfulness every devil from hell I curse you at the roots I resist you in the mighty name of Jesus I stand against you every principality every power every ruler of the darkness of this world every spiritual wickedness in high places every foul and unclean spirit you lying devil you deceiving devil we bind you in the name of Jesus you demon of infirmity we bind you in the name of Jesus we unleash the power of God we unleash the power of God for the Bible says you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem in Judah in Samaria unto the uttermost ends of the world. My God, somebody shouted, I got power. I feel the power of God being released on the people of God tonight. The Bible says you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come on you. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 the Bible says now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh in us my God you got power tonight I say you got power tonight because the Father the Son and the Holy Ghost lives on the inside of you you're not just a weak man they pan me somebody but you are a child of God you are boon of his boons and flesh of his flesh you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus that loved you and gave himself for you I'm here to declare to you tonight the Lord shall fight for you 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 that enemy you're seeing today that enemy you're seeing this week that enemy you're seeing this month that enemy you're seeing this year that enemy you're seeing the last 10 years the last 20 years my God God, that enemy you're seeing today, you shall see them no more forever because God shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. My 
God, it's time to move. It's time to move. I'm going to say it until it happens. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I said it's time to move. Some of you have been believing God to move. You've been trying to move from one level to another, from one job to another, from one house to another, from one level of living to another. And you've been held up. You've been feeling stuck. But the Holy Ghost send me to unstuck you tonight. I declare you loose. I declare you free. I declare you crossing over right now in the name of Jesus. And Moses cried out to God and said, what am I going to do? My back is against the wall. The Red Sea is in the front of us. My God and Pharaoh's army is behind us. And God said, Moses, what is that in your hands? God said, lift thou up your hands and stretch the rod out over the Red Sea and divide it. And you and the children of Israel, you're going to cross over on dry land. And the Bible says, Moses took the rod and lifted up in the front of the Red Sea. He did exactly what God said. Sometimes you got to do what God said, even if it doesn't make sense to your natural mind. Even if it doesn't make sense, just as long as it makes faith, just as long as it's a thus said the Lord, you got to obey God. Even if you got to march around the walls of Jericho, if you got to dip in the Jordan River seven times, my God. God, just do whatever the Lord say, because victory is attached to your act of obedience. And as Moses, he lifted up his rod over the Red Sea, the Bible says, God, he sent a strong wind, and it blew all that night. And the Bible says, hey, I feel the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, the wind blew, and it blew until the Red Sea, it opened up and there was a dry there was a dry pathway for Moses and the children of Israel to cross over I don't know about you but I hear the wind of the Holy Ghost blowing on your Red Sea right now I hear the wind blowing I hear the wind blowing I hear the sound of a move of God I hear the sound of a visitation from God I hear the sound of a breakthrough from God I hear the sound of a miracle from God I hear the sound of the troops of God marching in the mulberry trees and God said to David when you hear the sound of the marching in the mulberry trees then you can bust a move because that's the sign that the Lord is with you my God in the realm of the spirit I hear the army of God they are marching tonight and the wind of God blew until the Red Sea was wide open I'm preaching to someone tonight you've been faced with difficulty you've been feeling like giving up you've been feeling deserted you've been feeling forsaken but the Holy Ghost just blew your Red Sea he blew it wide open and the children of Israel they began to march on dry ground until they were clean over to the other side. I'm talking to somebody. You just made it. You just made it. I said you just made it to the other side. You shouldn't have been here. You shouldn't have survived. My God, someone else who went through what you went through, they would have lost their mind. They would have had to have been placed in the end seen asylum but because God is on your side because God is fighting your battle victory today I say victory today is yours and as Moses and the children of Israel as they cross over on what seemed impossible as they cross over on what seemed humanly difficult and humanly impossible the Bible says Pharaoh and his army began to do what Moses those did. But as they tried to walk through the Red Sea, the Bible says God began to break off their chariot wheels. God began to attack 
the Egyptians. I say, God is fighting for you right now. I say, God is fighting for you right now. God is attacking those demons. God is attacking those devils. God is attacking those situations that came against him. He attacked them to the point that the Egyptians began to cry out and they said, flee from the face of Israel for God is fighting for them. My God, your enemy is beginning to cry. Your enemy is beginning to cry out and they are beginning to say, God is fighting for his people. God is fighting for his people. God, I want you to see this. So the Egyptians, they begin to flee. They begin to run. The very thing that they cause the children of Israel to do. They cause Israel to flee. Now God turned the tables on them. Now it was time for the Egyptians to flee. Everything that your enemy have tried to do to you. Everything that they cause you to have to go through. I say, God. God is turning the tables on them now. Everything they put you through, they gonna have to go through it because God is fighting your battle. This battle is not yours. This battle belongs to the Lord. It's time to move forward. It's time to march. It's time to take a step of faith and watch God. Watch him dry up. Watch him open up your Red Sea. Watch him give you a breakthrough. Watch him give you a miracle. Watch him give you a financial miracle that you never seen. Watch him give you an inheritance supernaturally. Watch him give you the property supernaturally. Watch him give you the promotion supernaturally. For promotion doesn't come from the east. It doesn't come from the west. But promotion promotion it comes from God this is your night of promotion this is your night of breakthrough this is your night of supernatural wealth transfer this is the night where the wealth of the wicked is being transferred over into the hands of the righteous come on somebody open your hands and say God I receive it right now I receive it in the name of Jesus I receive the wealth transfer. I received the property. I received the inheritance. I received the breakthrough. This is my night for breakthrough. This is my night for miracle. I'm crossing over. I'm crossing over. I'm crossing over. I might be afraid, but I'm crossing over. I might be shook up, but I'm crossing over. I might be discouraged, but I'm crossing over. I might feel weak, but I'm crossing over. I might be just a little discouraged, but I'm crossing over because God is fighting my battle. God told Moses, Moses said to the children of Israel, the Lord shall fight for you. The Lord, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, not the government, but the Lord shall fight for you not your pastor the Lord so fight for you not your husband the Lord not your children the Lord not your boss the Lord not the bank the Lord the Lord the Lord the Lord this looks like a job for God this is a miracle that only God can do it's time to put your eyes on God it's time to put your eyes on God only God can do this which you need done Ain't no man can do it. Ain't no woman can do it. Ah, suck it up, bubble shut up. But I feel God stepping into your situation. Stepping into your situation. Stepping on your Red Sea and blowing it wide open. This is your night to cross over. This is your night. Somebody shout yes. And the Bible says. After Moses and the children of Israel crossed over, Moses stretched his hands back out over the Red Sea and the Red Sea closed up, closed up on the Egyptians, closed up on Pharaoh, closed up on his army. And the Bible says, there remained not so much as one of them, not a single 
one of them escaped. Not one person escaped that fought against the people of God. We have that picture up there in the front of you. When Moses stretched out his hands, the Red Sea closed up and drowned all of the people that were coming against God's people. And friends, I want you to know, God's turned the tide on the enemy. The very thing that it seems like it was going to cost you a great loss. It's going to cost you to have a great victory. God's going to use that thing. It seemed like it was meant for evil, but God's going to use it for good. The Lord, the Lord shall fight for you. The Lord, the Lord shall fight for you.